evening, everybody. I'd like to welcome you into the broadcast booth high above Wilson Stadium here in Treaton, Michigan. We're really excited for today's game. The Treaton Fighting Narwhals are taking on Central Michigan in the first game of the season. I'm your host, Walter Moore, and as always is my toothsome and handsome co-host, John P. Walrus. John, you want to say hello to the folks? Well, thanks for the compliment, Walt. Uh, I'm very excited. It's a beautiful evening for some football. The Treaton Narwhals bring in Central Michigan. They shouldn't have too much of a tough time defeating Central Michigan, but that's why they play the game. The game of football! Boy, I can tell you're really excited about this game. That's a good thing. That's a good thing. This season's going to be full of excitement. Well, we're not going to dally too long. Got a couple news and notes before kickoff. First off, Super Mario coming off that uh, PED test in the preseason has been moved from the offensive line to the defensive line. His versatility will probably be better served today, uh, served on that side of the ball, but I don't believe it's going to affect the game today very much at all. Uh, one one more thing, uh, as is tradition and has been for years, the Fighting Narwhals are going to play the first game in their all-black uniforms. We'll see if that changes going forward. All right, well, it looks like both the teams are on the field, and we'll take you right down to kickoff. Let's go. All right, it looks like uh, the Narwhals have won the toss, and they elected to receive. Right, number six brings the ball out to the 33-yard line. Quite a good return, good return, good field position for the Narwhals as they start off. There goes a run up the middle by Ralph S. Mouse. Gain of three yards out to the 36. What do you think, John? Oh, well, I think that uh, number six, uh, number uh, Ralph S. Mouse has a really compact running style. I really like it. All right, there's the snap. Roland drops back, fires to his right. Ball's tipped and caught, caught, he's gone. Five, touchdown, touchdown, Narwhals. Boy, that was a heck of a catch. That was, who was that? Number eight, Ramona Quimby, age eight. And she takes the ball in for a 64 yard touchdown pass. I gotta tell you, Walt, that was one of the greatest catches I've seen of this young season so far. On for the extra point is uh, Treaton Zone Pufferfish. Takes it up through the uprights and Treaton jumps out to a seven nothing lead early on in this game. Well, that kickoff resulted in a touchback, so Central Michigan takes the ball at the 20-yard line. Quarterback drops back, fires right. Ooh, batted away by number 25. They're right back at the line. Yeah, well, this team likes to run offense real fast. Drops back. Oh, keeper up the middle, and he's taken down for a loss. I'm sorry, that's no gain. Central Michigan back at it again. Third down and 10, big third down for the Narwhal defense. Let's see if they can stop them. There's a snap, drop back, fires right, caught. Oh, fantastic tackle short of the first down line. Very, very good defense. Yeah, John. Yeah, well, this, uh, this defense is, is very stout. We're, uh, most teams are gonna have a hard time scoring on them this year. Here's the punt. Medusa is back to return. She takes it up the middle and she stopped at the 44 yard line. Nine yard gain on that return. Let's see what the offense is gonna do now. Roland drops back, throws, incomplete. Aim it for Quimby again. Quimby is gonna be a very interesting part of this offense. We've already seen the one touchdown catch from her. We'll see what else we can get. Rolling in the shotgun, drops back, fires right, caught, taken down. It's be an eight yard gain by the pigeon. Yeah, I love the pigeon, you know. I, I was driving on the bus with him one day and uh, we had a really long talk about offensive philosophy, his speed and all that. Oh no, wait, John, 
Ralph S. Mouse takes the option pitch and runs up the sideline for a nice gain, 20 yards and a first down. This offense is rolling. Yeah, Walt, I wouldn't expect any less from this offense. They're a juggernaut. Backfield in motion, empty back. Roland takes a snap, drops back. Oh, whoo! That defensive tackle made its way right through the middle. I believe that was center Andrew Yancey out of Key West, Florida that uh, let that defender through. Yeah, I'm a fan of Yancey uh, and all his antics, but uh, that was unacceptable. I agree, John. Second and 13 here for the Narwhals. Lone back. Roland gives to Ralph S. Mouse. Over left tackle, short gain. Looks like about a six yard gain for Ralph S. Mouse. Now he's quick. Yeah, I told you he was quick, Walt. Very quick, John. All right, let's see what they're gonna do. Third down and seven, 24 yard line. They come out in an offset eye. Roland takes a snap, drops back, rolls left, fires. Touch, touchdown, touchdown Narwhals. That was a beautiful pitch and catch from number 19, Roland DeShane to number 11, Achilles. Oh, you can't even script it any better than that. That was amazing. Yeah, yes, Walt, that was, that was a great catch. The great catch, the speed of Achilles and those very good hands. Pufferfish with the extra point, and just like that, it is 14 nothing fighting narwhals. Boy, this is moving real quick. Looks like the kickoff came back uh, out to the 14 yard line. This offense is gonna need to get something going if they're gonna stay in this game. Pass left, ooh, big hit. Big hit right there. Medusa coming up from the cornerback spot, making a nice hit. Yeah, I really love the way she plays defense, Walt. Central Michigan out again. Drops back, fires right, caught, out of bounds. Nice little pitch and catch there for a 15 yard gain and a first down for the Central Michigan offense. We'll see uh, if they can keep this momentum going on this drive. Gives the ball up the middle of the running back. Ooh. Stopped for a gain of two. Looks like Jean Valjean there, the hard hit. Ball on the 37 yard line. Central Michigan back up to the line. Quarterback under center. Pitches left. Ooh. Now see, that's the way you play defense. Of course it is, Walt. You know, that linebacker, Jean Valjean, he spent his time on the outside, didn't let anyone get to his right. He was playing the right side of the field, no one outside, and he was there to make that tackle. Very good form tackle, very good. Central Michigan. Quarterback with all the time in the world, throws it. Oh, it was tipped. I believe that was Nick Fury there on the outside defending that pass. Fantastic defense there. Well, that brings us to fourth down. Central Michigan's gonna decide to punt. There's a kick. Caught by Medusa, she takes it right, moves left, spin move. Ooh, taken down. Big hit by the Central Michigan defender there. You know, I love the way she plays defense and I'm really glad to see that she's returning punts too. Well, all right, that narwhal offense is back out there. Roland with a bullet to the right side over through his receiver. You know, that's one of the issues with being a gunslinger. You want to fire that ball in there, but sometimes it just sails on you. Narwhal's back out. Roland's under center, motion in the backfield. Roland drops back, another pass, throws right, caught. Short of the first down, but that's the first catch of the day for number 80, King Arthur. He's the third or fourth wide receiver on this team. Good to see him making a catch there. Another pass over the middle. 
Oh my goodness. Walt, I told you exactly this in the season preview. Ramona Quimby, she's small and quick and strong. She's going to be going over the middle and catch those passes all day. Uh, fantastic possession receiver. I agree with you, John. Good analysis there. That one was good for 23 yards. Narwhal's back here up at the line on offense. Deshane drops back, looking. Throws left, ooh, towards the end zone, just out of the reach of King Arthur. You know, you must have a little confidence and a little rapport with Arthur after that uh, catch a couple plays earlier in the drive. All right, looks like blown back, tight end, motioning across the backfield. Gives to Mouse, Mouse takes it. Gain of four yards by Ralph S. Mouse. Yeah, now, you know, he's gonna get the ball, and. He's getting two, three, four, five, six yards there, but just wait, he's gonna break one like he did in the first quarter with that 24 yard scamper down the right sideline. Rollins alone in the backfield. Here's a snap, throws, caught. Oh, oh, touchdown, Narwhals! Who was that? Let's see, that was big number 83, Jim Harp. Jim, oh, I'm sorry, Jim Hopper. Yes, uh, Walt, his name's Jim Hopper. He's a little strange, but you gotta pronounce his name right. Look at that truck there, right there by Hopper. He's big and he's strong. Puffer fish on for the extra point. This will be his third one of the day. It's up and it's good. Narwhals add to their lead. Now 21 nothing in the second quarter. Here's a kickoff. Touch back in the end zone. Central Michigan's going to get the ball at the 20-yard line. Let's see if they can get this offense going. That Narwhal defense has been uh, lights out so far. Yeah, I agree with you, Walt. It's, uh, it's been very uh, rock solid. Quarterback gives. Ooh, big hit in the backfield. Looks like that was number 75, Craig Jones out of Compton, California with a big hit. Central Michigan back up to the line. Three yard loss, second and 13. Quarterback drops back, throws, incomplete. He just wasn't on the same page as with his receiver right there. I agree, Walt. Third and 13, need a first down to keep this drive going. Quarterback drops back, looks, throws, complete. Oh, a great tackle there by number 21. That's short of the first down. That's gonna bring up fourth down, fourth and two for Central Michigan. That was a good stop there on defense. I agree, Walt. You know, there's nothing like uh, having a third long, being able to force the opponent to punt. That punt goes out of bounds. Looks like it's going to be at the 33-yard line. This vaunted Narwhal offense is back on the field. Let's see if they can score again. Rolling throws. Caught. Uh-oh. Fumble. Oh. Achilles grabbed that ball, took a couple steps, got hit and drop the ball, recovered by Central Michigan. All right, let's see if Mr. Momentum is gonna switch sides here. Roland's not happy with that one. Achilles, you know, we talked in the season preview about him wanting to avoid hits. Maybe he should just stick to that. Let's see if the coach has enough confidence to go back to him later in the game. Central Michigan with the ball now. Gives left. Taken down. Jean Valjean on the outside with another nice tackle. Looks like the Narwhals are calling timeout, hoping to get the ball back before the end of the half. Central Michigan out of the shotgun, he throws. Ooh, incomplete, he looked wide open. That was a little scary there. Yeah, I think the Narwhal defense is doing enough to confuse the Central Michigan quarterback. And although that guy was wide open, he missed him because uh, it's hard to think with all these other black shirts coming at you. Central Michigan drops back, he throws, it's a catch. Did he get the first down? I think he did. First and 10, nice catch there, pitch and catch there by Central Michigan. 
CMU comes out in the shotgun, snap. Quarterback takes keep to the left. Oh, big hit and a fumble. Who got it? Uh-oh, we got an injury on the field. Well, that looks like that was a, a run to the left. The quarterback got hit by Jean Valjean, who had a forced fumble there. A treating player recovered it, but in the melee, it looks like John Snow got rolled up on him. We'll have to see if we can get some more information about that injury at the half. His replacement now is a Space Ghost. Uh, he hasn't played much this year. Now here off the turnover, let's see if Treaton can uh, take a stab at it. Rolling drops back, looking, looking, throws long. Incomplete. He went over the right side to Ramona Quimby there. All right, treating back up to line, single back in the backfield, gives right, there goes Ralph S. Mouse, and he cuts, oh, ah. oh, all right. Big gain there by Ralph S. Mouse. You can see his rushing stats there on the screen. That was a 23-yard gain there for Ralph S. Mouse. We're liking the way this kid runs. I told you, Walt, I told you, he runs great. All right, 26-yard line, heading towards the CMU end zone. Roland gives left. Oh my goodness, spin move! Touchdown! Touchdown, Narwhals! Boy, Ralph S. Mouth for such a small package. Really trucked that first guy there. See that? Spin move out of the second one. Good blocking downfield by King Arthur. Man, this team's gonna have to think about putting King Arthur in a, a better spot here. That's quite the run blocking job. Oh, I agree there, Walt. You know, it's really important for wide receivers to block down the field because once the running back gets past those first two layers, the defensive line and the linebackers, the only thing stopping them is the cornerbacks. And if the wide receivers can do a good job blocking, you'll get a touchdown every time, as you saw there. Well, Treaton jumps out to a 28 nothing lead, 50 seconds left in the first half. Well, we had planned to come back with the CMU drive, but it looks like they went three and out, and that was the punt back to the Narwhal offense. We'll see if they can do anything with 44 seconds left in the first half. Roland drops back, throws left. Caught by Achilles all the way down to the 21-yard line. Hey, that's a gain. Puts him in field goal range for the end of the first half here. Let's see if they can capitalize on this field position. Come out with the lone back, tight formation. Roland drops back, surveying, throws down the middle. Ooh, over the hands of Achilles in the end zone. That would have been a sweet touchdown pass there. I think Achilles still a little shaken from his uh, fumble earlier in the half. Back up to line. Rolling under center. Drops back, quick drop. Throws right. Ooh, ball is tipped. Whew. I said it earlier, John, earlier. Yeah, I know you said it earlier. That's the issue with gunslingers is that, you know, they're going to try and fit the balls in tight holes down the field. Sometimes that doesn't always pan out. Yeah, I, I agree there, John. Rollins under center. Motion across. Drops back. Throws down the middle. Ooh. Wide receiver missed that one. I think that one was intended for Achilles then. We're gonna bring on Puffer Fish now for a field goal attempt, 37 yards. Oh, this kid is money, Puffer Fish. Puffer Fish, Treaton's own Puffer Fish. All right, so 22 seconds left in the half. Uh, the Treaton College Narwhals jump out to a 31-0 lead on CMU. 15 seconds left in the half. Let's see if they opt to kneel or if they run a couple plays. Now, I don't know why you don't just kneel the ball there, Walt. You know, they haven't been playing very good. There's only 15 seconds left. And what happens if one of those big hogs on the offensive line comes and knocks that ball loose, picks it up, and scores? Then you're in an even bigger hole. It looks like they only ran the one play. So we enter halftime 31-0. Welcome into the halftime break. Boy, the Narwhals jumped out to a big lead there. They're up 31-0 on Central Michigan at the half. One thing that stuck out to me was the three touchdown passes thrown by quarterback Roland DeShaney. He had one each to Achilles, Ramona Quimby, and Jim Hopper. Uh, a field goal by Treaton's own Pufferfish, and another rushing touchdown by Ralph S. Mouse add up to get to that 31. Uh, John, do you have any thoughts on the first half? 
Yeah, Walt, in the first half, I was really impressed by that 64-yard touchdown pass from Roland to Ramona Quimby. She's quick as lightning, and as you can tell, very valuable to the way this offense runs. Very, very good. I was also impressed uh, with, on that touchdown catch, Jim Hopper, he took the ball, turned around, trucked a defender on his way to the end zone. This guy is good. I'd have to agree with you there. They played really, really well. We'll see how the second half turns out. Before we get there, we're going to go to our Treat and Sports Insider, Skip Turnbuckle. Uh, he's got some updates on what happened during the first half. Skip? Thanks, Walter. What a first half of the game and first half of the season for our fight in our walls. Um, I was just on the sideline, but I stepped inside uh, to give this recap. And uh, let's get the bad news out of the way first. So if you're just joining us... Um, Defensive end John Snow went down with a apparently horrific injury in the first uh, half. Uh, he was carted off the field, seemingly unresponsive, and um, you just never—it's a scary moment that you just never want to see on a football field. Uh, after the replay showed Snow getting hit by what seemed to be every Central Michigan offensive player at once, um, we all expected the worst. But it was a miraculous diagnosis of only a uh, small ankle contusion and a potential concussion. The trainers tell me that the regular concussion protocol doesn't usually work on uh, young Snow because he, quote, knows nothing to begin with. Um, that seems pretty harsh, but regardless, they've decided to keep him out of this game, uh, out of caution, and hope that he's ready for the tilt next Saturday. Starting in his place is the more than capable ghost, not that ghost, uh, space ghost. Um, looked pretty good in his couple plays uh, before halftime, um, going coast to coast to stop that reverse play. I also spoke uh, briefly to Coach Football Pants before he ran into the tunnel, and I asked him about uh, the first half that star uh, wide out Achilles had. So you saw that effortless pitch and catch touchdown he had earlier in the first with quarterback Roland Deshane, um, but I really wanted to ask about that very, very uncharacteristic fumble that his heroic wide out had. Um, poor Achilles looked basically inconsolable over on the sideline afterwards, uh, which is kind of understandable since, as far as I can recall, it is the first mistake that he's made in his two-plus years as a fight narwhal. Um, coach told me that he's not worried, and he told his star wide out that uh, he should keep his head up and buckle his special heel pads on tight because he's got the utmost confidence and utmost faith in him, and he's sending him back, back out there. Um, and hopefully second half will be better for him, and hopefully the second half will be great for the fight in our walls. Uh, that's, that's your recap. Back to you in the studio. Fantastic insight as always, Skip. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later. Uh, one more thing before we return to the second half. We have a special message from one of our local sponsors, Gallagher's Galleries. Take a look. Gallagher's Galleries. Hello. Welcome to Gallagher's Galleries, where life is art, art is life. We have many fine paintings here at Gallagher's Galleries, many wonderful photography pieces, but today we are going to talk about 3D pieces, three-dimensional art. When I look at a piece, I wonder, what was the artist trying to say? What what was he trying to say through creating this work of art? I'm going to demonstrate by showing one of the finest 3D pieces we have in the gallery. It's called Life Unfulfilled it's by a very prominent local artist. Here it is. What was the artist trying to say when he created this piece? I look at the eyes, and I see is pain. What I see is a life unfulfilled. What do you see? Let's just take a moment to examine this piece of art. Wasn't that a wonderful moment? Did you feel the pain? Did you feel the struggle that I felt? 
Thank you so much for joining us at Galleries, Gallagher's Galleries. Hope to see you again soon. Gallagher's Galleries. Gallagher's Galleries. Well, that was quite the tour de force. I've uh, never been a big fan of art. What about you, John? Yeah, Walt, I'm a big fan of art. In fact, I have Vermeer's original, The Concert, in my living room. All right. Wait, isn't that painting stole from a Boston museum in 1992 and never recovered? On to the second half. Here's a little look at the stats there. 285 yards of offense for the Narwhals to 46 for CMU. And I think that's the story of the game. Well, more than that, I think the defense is doing a really good job of frustrating Central Michigan all the way around. Well, the Narwhals got the first half kickoff, so CMU is going to get the second half kickoff. Here's Pufferfish, and there goes the kickoff. CMU takes it in the end zone and downs it for a touchback. That'll bring the ball back out to the 20-yard line. CMU, little play action pass, throws to the right side, caught. Ooh, that was a nice pitch and catch. You see, when you fake the handoff like that, draws the defense in, I think that's exactly what happened there. That was a nice gain there, 26 yards. All right, first and 10. Another play action pass, throws over the middle. Oh, the guy just dropped it. I think Medusa might have been in the area on that one. Yeah, we heard from Skip. Turnbuckle that Medusa it really gives the uh, offensive receivers a case of the stone hands. I think that's exactly what that was. Central Michigan, fullback dive over the center. Nice five yard gain there. Third and five now for Central Michigan. Shotgun, pass. Ooh. Number seven makes the reception. Good completion over the middle. I think the Mandalorian was in on that tackle. It looks like Central Michigan's got a little momentum here in the second half. They're in a deep hole, but they might be able to dig themselves out. Ball on the 38-yard line. Quarterback in the shotgun. Rolls right. Throws. Dropped again. These Central Michigan receivers really do have a case of the Butterfingers today. Well, I, like I said, I don't think it's Butterfingers. I think it's Stone Hands. Defense in tight. Central Michigan in shotgun. One back. Here's a snap. Drops back. Ooh, he goes down. And who was that? Number 77, Inspector Javert with the sack. That takes him all the way back to third and 18. Boy. That momentum sure stopped quickly. Narwhal showing blitz. Central Michigan drop back to pass. Throws, caught. That was a nice gain. Would have got a first down if they only had to get 10, but since they needed 18, they were short. Yeah, I, I told you that earlier. Well, that uh, when you get to that point, uh-oh, wait, 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 John. It looks like on fourth and three, Central Michigan's gonna go for it. They're in an offset eye. Gibbs to the left. Oh, fantastic run stuffing. I think that was Craig Jones again. No, I think that was Space Ghost with a very nice play there on the right side. Kept the defender in front of him, shed the blocker, and made that tackle short of the first down. That's a turnover on downs. And uh, let's see, offense is going for it. Rollins in the shotgun, one back, three wide receivers. There's a snap, drops back, quick throw to the left side. Look at that burner speed! 20, 10, 5, touchdown, Narwhals! Whoa, he just ran right past them, didn't he, John? I'm telling you, this kid's speed is undeniable. I think they just let him loose on the left side. He outran the defender, and Roland put that ball right on the button for the touchdown. Boy, Pufferfish on for the extra point. Kick is up and it's good. So Treaton College jumps out, extends their lead further. This one really might be over at this point, John. 
looks like that kickoff of the touchback. Central Michigan brings it out to the 20-yard line. Quarterback drops back, throws left, incomplete. That wasn't a good route anyways. Yeah, I don't know what he was doing there. All right, Central Michigan, lone back, two tight end. Quarterback under center, drops back, a little draw, gives it up the middle. Running back with a gain of three. That defense is so stout. Space goes with another good tackle. He's playing really well in the place of the injured John Snow. Central Michigan is shotgun. Back goes in motion, empty. There's a snap. Quarterback draw up the middle. Ooh. Nice tackle there. That brought up fourth down. Looks like Central Michigan is going to punt again. There's the punt. Medusa's back to return. Fields about the 33. Takes it forward. Spin move. Uh oh. Ooh, upended at the 46 yard line of Central Michigan. That gives us great field position. Though. Yeah, we really are winning the field position battle today, and, and that means a lot. All right, quarterback drops back, rolling. Got plenty of time, rolls left, throws off his back foot. Intercepted. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Boy. That is not good. He decided to roll right and throw off his back foot all the way across the field. I can't believe that. That's the gunslinger for you. Always taking chances. I agree, but that's not good. Even with this big lead, if Central Michigan starts to get a little momentum, we can see a shift in the tide of this game. Central Michigan with an offset eye. Tight end in motion. Quarterback under center. Quarterback here for fullback off over the right side. Tackle, short gain, two yard run. Big stop by number 59, Robin Hood on that one. Quarterback gives to the halfback over the right side. Another big tackle. That one is uh, stuffed in there by middle linebacker all might. Lone back, quarterback under center. Quarterback drops back. Throws. Uh-oh, picked off. What a fantastic interception. He just jumped the root on that one. Yeah, it's really no mystery on who caught that pass. That was Detective Dale Cooper of Twin Peaks, Washington, right there with that fantastic interception. Now, the last time they had a turnover, they let the ball loose. I, uh, I think that we might get the same thing here, Walt. Well, we'll see. Roland drops back, surveys, throws to the right side. Caught, 10, five, he's gonna do it. I told you he's gonna do it. I told you he's gonna do it. He's gonna throw to Achilles. That's the second time in the game off a turnover. Fantastic, fantastic choice there by the coach. God, you're real excited. I, I, I'm glad that you're enjoying this. Oh, this is what I came here to do. Eat fish and watch football. Puffer fish on for an extra point. Kick is up and it's good. And Treaton College now leads Central Michigan by a wide margin. Well, it looks like uh, we skipped ahead. Central Michigan went three and out on their drive after that touchdown by Achilles. So here's the punt. And, uh, uh oh, someone new back to return. Yeah, number 33, Piggy's getting some action in there. Let's see. Yeah, it looks like uh, Coach has put in the reserves here in the fourth quarter. So now under center, well, in the shotgun, we've got backup quarterback Pete the Cat. Takes, drops back, throws, caught. Caught on the right side there by Romeo Montague for a, a modest gain there. Eight yard pass there. All right. Pete the Cats in the shotgun with Piggy next to him. Takes the snap. He's running the option left. Takes the pitch. Ooh, he's taken down. Two yard gain. I don't know if that's enough for the first down. Yeah, this kid right here, Pete the Cat, he's got quite the legs. He can run that option all day, especially with Piggy behind him. And you know what they say about him. 
He's rather groovy. Beat the cat under center. Takes a snap, gives right to Piggy. Piggy, oh! Trucks one defender. Beautiful run by Piggy there. 13 yard gain up the middle, off tackle there. This kid, I, I told you in the season preview, this kid has wheels, but he can also truck you as you just saw. Beat the cat under center. Going back is Piggy. Quarterback drops back, throws left, screen pass. Pigeon, uh oh. All right, the pigeon caught a pass. Nice little screen pass for a five yard gain there. That pigeon's gonna play an integral part on this team this year. All right, beat the cat under, under center. Gives the piggy on the draw. Piggy, gain of a couple yards, maybe one there up the middle. Nothing much to speak of there. See, I don't mind him feeding that, uh, feeding Piggy there. He loves his slop. I don't mind him being fed on this. All right, offset eye. Beat the cat under center. Gives left. There goes Piggy. Oh, makes a move. Touchdown. Treating, fighting Narwhals. Ooh, boy. That looked a little too easy. Yeah, too easy there, Walt. All right, so that kickoff came back out to the 12-yard line. So here is where Central Michigan takes over with a minute 11 to go in the game. Fullback run off the right. Nice hit there on the outside. Who was that? I believe that was, nope, 95 there. Next play. Incomplete pass, pass defended over the middle. I believe that was Jean Valjean again, knocking the ball away. Third and nine for Central Michigan, 41 seconds left to go in the game. Quarterback in the shotgun, motion across. Gets the ball, looks, throws. Ooh, I think he hit him the second he touched the ball. Incomplete pass there. Central Michigan, another three and out. They're gonna punt here. I believe Piggy is still returning for the Narwhals. There, there she goes. Right? To the Central Michigan 40. This game is all but over, folks. 28 seconds. I don't know if Central Michigan's going to use their timeouts, but uh, gives to Piggy. Piggy up the middle. Beat the cat under center, offset eye. And there's the game. Your final today. Treating College fighting Narwhals 52, Central Michigan nothing. All right, that's the game, folks. Uh, looks like Treaton College beats Central Michigan 52 to nothing. Got a couple stats for you. Roland DeShane went 10 for 18, 324 yards and five touchdowns. Ralph S. Mouse out of the backfield at six attempts for 82 yards and a touchdown. His replacement in the fourth quarter, Piggy, had four attempts for 33 yards and a touchdown. And the big day, my player of the game, Achilles, five receptions, 196 yards, and three touchdowns. This guy, even though he had that fumble in the first half, he was unstoppable, burning cornerbacks on the outside all day long. You cannot discount that speed. Now, Walrus, uh, John, we have a, a new award. I guess it's your Walrus of the game. Could you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, my Walrus of the Game Award goes to someone on the offensive or defensive line who really proved their weight today. And uh, my Walrus of the Game for Game 1 against Central Michigan is Space Ghost. He filled in for the injured Jon Snow, had two tackles, and a great showing. Uh, we'll see if uh, Jon Snow gets back in the action next week, but until then, I think Space Ghost is going to do a great job filling in.
I really dig that award. That's a, that's a good one. All right, again, uh, Treaton wins 52 to nothing. We'll see you on Thursday for game two as the Treaton College Fighting Narwhals take on Houston at home at Wilson Stadium. Until then, have a good one.